Who to choose from level 30? We're going to go through every single player, compare them to other players in their position in that league, and jump onto Footbin. So starting off with Lasagna. He is high-low work rates, left-footed, four-star, four-star. So really good work rates for a striker. Left-footed, right-footed, doesn't matter. But four-star, four-star is extremely important as well. So that's great. Can he play striker or centre-forward? And if we look at this card overall, the composure is really good place. Acceleration sprint speed is absolutely fantastic. Same with the agility and balance as well. Short passing is really good for a striker. The elephant in the room would probably be his finishing, which we can boost with chem styles, which we'll cover in a minute. In terms of traits, there are no traits, unfortunately. If we were to compare him to any other striker that's in Serie A at the moment. So we have, of course, the heroes. We have Vola, Rafael Leal, and we have Di Natale underneath my camera. Then we have a couple of SBCs. So Gomez ones, Di Ketelera was one. I think Ibrahimov is on the market. Another uh, hero. Then we have the Tammy Abraham in form, as well as the Martinez World Cup Phenom, I think that card is. It is. So there are quite a lot of Serie A strikers. But if you've noticed, we only have one or two Italians, because Hippolitano was an SBC. Di Natale is the hero. So we haven't got many Italian strikers. So already he has an advantage in that sense for chemistry. But on the flip of that as well, there are abundance because we have got ourselves in the Mobile here as well, 88 rated. They are very, very similar cards. Of course, Lasagna does kind of top them a little bit more. But you have got the choice of quite a lot of strikers in Serie A. So if you're running a Serie A team, I don't think he's a bad option. If you're desperate for a striker, he does look like a really good striker. With those work rates alone and having that extremely high composure with the acceleration sprint speed, you can just maximize his shooting. So if we were to jump onto Footbin... We can see here, if we go to chem styles, we have got quite a lot of choices because we don't need to boost up the pace at all. We can have a look at a finisher to give him that 15 plus on finishing to give him 95 finishing overall. And that makes him into a 93 rated striker, as you can see on our screen here. And having a 93 rated striker whose base is 88 is not a bad shout at all. I do think that's the best chem style for him because, again, his pace acceleration is in a good place. Also boosts up his agility and balance. His composure is in a good place. Gives him 99 dribbling. Having 95 finishing with 99 shot power means he's going to be very, very clinical in front of goal. With that left foot, again, having four-star weak foot, he can go with the other left or right. It won't matter too much. Has a high average body type, so you need to boost up that agility no matter what. In terms of Kemp's the same finisher or a marksman, so we'll have a look at marksman as well. And a marksman basically boosts up his shot power a little bit, a long shot, sorry, a little bit more. His jumping and strength as well as reactions, ball control and dribbling. The only issue I have with this card is he's controlled on new gen. On old gen, it won't matter too much, but being controlled is a little bit annoying at times, depending on how heavy the gameplay feels. And when I say that, it depends on how many people are on the server or not. You have to remember that this card is a base silver, so he will feel like a silver sometimes, unless he's got a proper body type or a face scan in game. Sometimes EA likes to mess around with these cards and not do them properly. But we are going to move on to our next player now. Which is the 88 version of McTominay. He is medium high, so really good work rates for a CDM. Six foot four, four star weak foot, three star skill. Don't think skill moves matter too much when you've got a CDM. The weak foot's more important, in my opinion. Could play centre defensive mid or centre mid. If we were to look at this card, straight away, so Jillian Balance needs to be sorted, I think. But you can see here, fantastic defender stats, fantastic aggression, strength, stamina. Really good composure for a CDM. Fantastic short pass and long pass. Great shot power and overall nice acceleration and sprint speed. In terms of traits, again, nothing too crazy with traits. We were to compare him to a lot of midfielders in the Premier League at the moment. You can see there is a lot of versions of Kevin De Bruyne. Of course, we have his team of the years in forms. We have Bernardo Silva for birthday, who are more attacking midfielders. We go to more of our defensive ones. We've got his teammate, which is Casemiro. And I think Casemiro is one of the better defenders in the midfield role, that's for sure. We just had foot birthday Kante come out. We've also got wild card Kante, as well as a more in forms of Casemiro and some of the World Cup cards. Even Bruno Guimarez or Guimarez. He's even got a really good defensive card as well, and he's just come out. So you have got a lot of uh, options in terms of that. A little bit lower down the roll, we've got ourselves out of position Cancelo. We've also got Enzo, who I think was a card in packs at the moment. Then we have, as you can see here, Yaya Toro World Cup, who's obviously really expensive. Fabinho, who was an SBC. So it really does depend on your team. I think Premier League has an abundance of cards. We've got Heroes in here as well, Mascarano. And we have another Bruno Gomez card out. As well as a, a Phillips a live card you can get upgraded if Man City progress further on. And the list goes on and on. We had a Future Stars Ramsey. So if you completed the objectives, you got that card. You also had the, the uh, Foot Fantasy Sabitzer. So if you completed that SBC. As well as Inform Douglas Luiz. So I do think Rod, uh, McTominay sorry, hasn't got 
the best argument for picking him, unless you are a Man United fan or a Scotland fan or a Scottish person in, ter in terms, then maybe go for him. But I think Premier League just have too many midfielders. Even got Gundogan, who was an objective that came out. So you can see there, if you've already played the game a lot, you're going to have a lot of uh, CDMs. If not, Tillemans is also a very good shout. Even Rodri is a good shout as well. If you did the uh, flashback, Jorginho, you don't need to do him. So again, there are so much competition. Not many decent Scottish players in the game either, unfortunately. So again, chemistry isn't going to offer you too much. We had to jump over to Footbin. You can see here, probably end going to end up going for a shadow, I'd imagine. And the reason being is to just maximise that defensiveness. You might as well go full out on defence. Boost up that pace to 89. Makes him a 91 rated CDM or even a 92 centre back if you wanted to be really sweaty and drop him in. People are probably suggesting... No one's suggesting Engine with surprise matches. Have a look at Engine quickly. So you wanted to boost it up. Makes him 89. Apologies, you can hear my dog digging in the background. But it's one of those. I do like McTominay. I do think he's going to be a good CDM for you if you need one. If you're new to the game and you've made your way all up to level 30, he's going to be solid for you. If you haven't got the coins to buy anyone else, he's going to be a really good CDM. But if you have got the coins or you have got some of these players, he's just going to be fodder for you. And I don't know if it's worth taking. And that leads us to our last player. Are you tired of playing sweat teams like this? Make sure you go to Alt 9, select Foot, select Foot 23 coins, choose which console and how many coins you'd like to buy, select your payment method, and don't forget to add code NANIC for 6% off on all orders. Last player being Nacho Fernandez, who's a centre back. He's got low, high work rates. Again, for a centre back, I don't think it matters too much. A lot of them have high defensive work rates. But four star weak foot is massive. At five foot 11, he can also play left back if you need him to. You can see here just overall defensive stats, absolutely outstanding. 90 defensive awareness, 90 stand tackle, 88 slide tackle, 85 composure, but also really good agility and balance for a centre back, let alone that 91 short pass. Acceleration isn't great, but sprint speed is fantastic. So it depends if he's lengthy or not, and we'll talk about that in a second. You can see here, no traits again. EA seem to not give these cards any traits at all. We were to compare him to everybody else in that league. So as centre-backs, we have got ourselves a lot of Real Madrid cards and Barcelona. So we have ourselves a new Alaba card that came out. Team of the year, Edin Militao. We also had a PK card that came out a while ago and a one to watch Rudiger as well as Arejo, who I think is the future star one of years. So if you haven't got the coins to buy any of these defenders, these are very, very expensive in the game. You either have a choice of Marquez the hero, who is also fantastic, or you've got Nacho Fernandez, who I think is a really good pickup for someone that's new to the game, or you're looking for a Spanish La Liga defender. Like I said, he can play left back if you need him to. If we were to compare him to anyone else in the league, we've got ourselves that fourth that came out as an objective. So you could potentially match him up with him, have them two at the back line. Fourth and Nacho Fernandez. Like I said, if you're new to the game, they're both for free from doing the objectives. Then after that, we have obviously got our typical Militao's, the uh, Christiansen, again, another version of Alaba. So there are a lot of um, CDA, sorry, centre-backs from La Liga and etc. like that who are going to be very, very close, or Real Madrid in particular. In terms of left-back, we've got this brand-new Alex Telles that came out. The two best left-backs in the game, which is Cap de Villa. Then we have Acuna, who I think might have been in SBC. He was, so you can't get him anymore. We've got Miranda, Road to the Final, as well as the Jordi Alba Centurions. And then we have Gold Mendy, who's probably the next one on that list. He's really, really good. So if you wanted to play him left back, you could. But if you've got yourself Mendy, who's 8,000 coins at this minute in time, next to Nacho and possibly that fourth card, you've got yourself three really good defenders from La Liga. I think I'm between Lasagna, the Italian striker, and Nacho Fernandez, the Spanish centre-back. Let me know in the comment section if you're going to be taking any of these. If you don't even make it to level 30, let me know how come you haven't made it. And if you have and you really don't know who to take, again, comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Smash that like button and subscribe, and I'll hopefully catch you in the next video. See ya.